Morning. How you all doing? Heading up Bleaklow today from Old Glossop. Going up via Dog Rock and then going to come back down via Cock Hill. Got my mate James with me. Morning. Having a little jaunt out. About seven mile planned. Um, not the best of weather but we should be alright. There's no, for no rain forecast till about two o'clock. We should be well done by then. And uh, we've got us waterproofs and whatnot. So yeah, be mint. Come on, let's go. We're just starting as a scent now up light side, which will, uh, once we get to summit here, we get a gentle walk along to Dog Rock. Yeah. Just powering along. So we'll uh, talk to you en route. Seventy meter ascent done in that little, just that little uh, up from down there. So it's like a what we're saying about a fifth of everything we've got to do. So that was reasonably sharp. So up onto uh, up onto this next summit, and then it gets a tad gentler after that. So anyway, we're going to crack on. Just deck down, just near some of the light side, and before we make, before we carry on up to Dog Rock and that's been it's been a, a roughish ascent that certainly for me it's uh, we're nearly at 400 meter above sea level started around 200 so that's about half of all the ascent out of way, but it's been off at course I say, I think probably less than a mile, but we've 45 minutes and we've we've. We've flown up it really. Just having a, a bit of a sit down, a bit of a drink now, aren't we, James? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Views have completely gone all round. We're in it deep, and we've just got this style to get over first, oh, which is reasonably easy. I <laughs> say. There we go. We're over. We're heading up towards Dog Rock now. Less than a mile to go, so this terrain's gentlish as well now, so it's just nice and easy. I'm just cruising along, steady now. It's a shame we can't see that in a bit better light, but that little bit there looks absolutely grand. Yeah. Magic. So just carrying on up to Dog Rock. Not be, not be long now. You know idiot. So we've just passed Dog Rock and uh, uh, just behind us there. You reckon? And there's apparently a, a crash site around here. Um, not the B29 which is up on Shelf Moor but another one right close to this. Um, we've had a bit of a scout round, haven't really found out but um, be for another day that. Sun's just coming out now. Here we go, just just trying to penetrate through this cloud layer. Top of Doe Stones Clough, which uh, runs all the way down that valley into Yellow Slacks Brook. Nearly time to join Pennine Way and head up to Bleak Lowhead. We discussed about possibly going to see uh, B29. You've not been up to it before, have you, James? Nope. No, so we discussed about possibly going up there, but there's bad weather forecast from about one o'clock two o'clock so it'll add probably another hour hour and a half onto his journey if we do that we don't really want to get caught out for secret and both of us have said exactly the same thing we can just come back another day we can do that route another day so we're going to stick to what we've planned bleak low head and then back to glossop via cock hill and it's going reasonably well so far so we've just decked down top of Dough stone slough, we're just about to turn up onto Pennine Way and uh, get up to Bleak Low Head. But we were due a little, James had a bit of coffee, I've, I've had some juice and some jerky. We were due a little rest. We haven't really, bar odd two minutes here and there and one five minute break, we've not stopped. So we've done uh, 
just under six i think we're just under six kilometer about two hour which to say it's all been uphill is not bad going and uh we're all we're just entering the second half of, of his of his walk so should be should be all right exciting stuff we've actually can see now as well like look at that view down there yeah magnificent so we'll see you soon that rock in front of us is the hern stones and from just past that we can join pennine way and head up to bleak lowhead we've made it to hern stones uh, we used so we used uh, the hern stone or the bit the big rock formation to navigate across the open moorland from top of Dove stone clough and uh, obviously behind us now just up here certainly with naked eye you can see up to Wayne stones um, we're going to jump onto Pennine Way now which is just here and go up that way that'll make it nice and easy James just having a little scout up on top of the Hearn stones sound sound job this isn't it so we've had five minutes messing about at Hearn stones now we're heading uh, not quite crow fly, but we're heading straight up to Wayne Stones. A tag bleak low head cairn, which is uh, an ethel. And then uh, Mecca's start his descent down, uh, I think it's Torside Clough, I think. Uh, or maybe we'll go down up Penang Way. Okay, see, see what we, we fancy when we get there. Just missed it, just got camera out, just ever so slightly too slow but a curl who's just treated us to a, a beautiful song just over there oh but he's gone away now bless him coming up on the wayne stones see if we can get right angle and i'll show you why they're called the kissing stones there we go and that's why they're called kissing stones because they look like they're having a kiss the wayne stones nice little view of that all right and everything's cleared. We can see all round. Marvellous. So we've got one little job left to do while we're here and that's find and tag Bleak Lowe's cairn. And finding it's not going to be a problem because I know where it is, it's just here. And then we're heading back down over, uh, I think it's Glossop Low, down onto Cock Hill and then back into uh, Old Glossop where we parked. Just as we've hit, um, well, or we're just about to hit the cairn at top of Bleak Law. I've actually seen across there, that's Black Hill. Oh, Moss Transmitting Station. If we just spin round here, across to Kinder. So, so I see all three of the summits that we're going to do when I do the Marsden to Edale Classic next month. So we're going to, obviously, Marsden up to the summit of Black Hill, down into Crowden, up to top of Bleak Law via Torside, and then... Uh, Pennine Way, Snake Pass up to um, Sandy A's across Plateau, drop into Edale. So, yeah, first time I've been, obviously since planning it, first time I've been back up Bleaklow and able to see all three summits that we're going to going to do. So this is quite, um, and it, and it gives you some kind of idea of the enormity of the challenge. Um, I know people have done a lot a lot further. Some people have done it in a day and stuff, but for me, it's going to be a a big challenge and to see both sides of what's you know what's north and what's south of where we are now it looks pretty daunting and there we are we've got the blue slow head cairn visible now just go over tag it grab my i think it's 24th ethel in the second round not really been focused on them but just picking them up as i pass them and then uh start as descent I like these uh, little Pennine way markers that you get every now and again as well these little things here we're arrowing what if you go going the other way I just take the summit oh there we go bleak low head this stake has fallen over it's a bit of a shame so this is the cairn point yeah so this is the cairn at top of bleak low head So we're just descending the boggy Torside Clough. No, uh, no water actually flowing down it today, but uh, the ground is exceptionally boggy. 
and we're going to join up with Penang Way down here and uh, I want to investigate the John Track well or John Track Spring or something, I think it's called something like that but it's, it's right where Penang Way joins this uh, Torside Clough so should be easy enough to see a bit further down yet though this is where the point of Torside Clough joins the Pennine Way and I'm just going to bob down if there's a, an easy way to get down and have a look. Yeah, I think it's just over there actually. Yeah, definitely water on way up to Bleaklow. Easy mode. Quick as we've joined it, we are leaving the Pennine Way but we're just having a little investigate of what this is. It looks like a grouse butt but a very isolated one. There it is. Who's coming up on a stone built grounds but there the, um, the last couple have just been a, a wooden plinth erected to hide behind James just facetiming his daughter um, I'm just so I've just bobbed on in front he'll catch me up easy considerably fitter than I am so um, yeah sound it's been alright so far but about six and a half mile in According to Strava, I've um, been walking for just under four hour, which considering the ascent that we did, I'm reasonably happy with. On to Glossop Low, down to Cockhill and back. Probably about two mile left to go, but it, like, bar the very small climb up onto Glossop Low, we're more or less uh, all downhill from here, so... Yeah, we're sound. That we can just see past James there is one of the green signs that's now all the rage to collect. And I didn't know there were one up here. And to be fair, I'm side on, so it still might not be one. But it certainly looks like it. Is it one? No. No, it's not. Bugger. <laughs> What's that? Don't do me like that. Oh, God. Thought I'd got one. Oh, well. What's that, James, there? So, just off at summit of Gloss Up Low, we've got this little abandoned whatever it was it looks too new to have been one of the old like shepherd hut type things it's very well built there's mortar in between in between blocks so it can't be that old but it's obviously not used anymore because it's uh, ruined right on to uh, cock hill and there we go cock hill trig point we're on cock hill now and see trig point just homing in on it james is running off like a loon <laughs> there he goes just get up to there tag that and drop down easy there we go some of cock hill trig oh, tr first trig at, well one trig for day one ethel third summit at day technically we summited bleak low then we summited gloss up low summited cock hill more or less done for today helicopter's been out for best part of an hour We've, we've seen it since coming off a of bleak law. Uh, I don't know if it's a training exercise, but if they're looking for someone, they ain't finding them, bless them. So, right, just get off a hill and we're done. There we go, off a of cock hill now. See it behind us, left that behind. Headed into old Glossop now, we're done. That's us for day, we're more, I think, uh, about another kilometre, not far to go. So thanks for coming, Weirs. Hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you all later. See you, James. Bye.